going to talk to you about karaoke. Now, what, I, what I'm going to do here is explanation on how to run karaoke on your computer rather than having to use a uh, machine and CDGs. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you how to rip a CDG to your hard drive so that you can use it on Virtual DJ or Siglos or PC DJ. Um, but I use Virtual DJ. I think it's probably the best program out there for uh, running karaoke um, using your computer. So, now I don't know about you guys, but this is how karaoke was done for a long time. For many years, from the 90s up until now. Some people still use CDGs. Um, this right here, um, I, <laughs> my brother and I shared a karaoke collection back in the day. Um, and their CDGs is what they are, but I got rid of my collection when I got out of the game back in uh, the late 90s. And uh, But I recently picked this up from an old buddy, Morrow, DJ Advice. It's a bunch of old CDGs, even though I have you know tons of others uh, that are already on my hard drive, all the new stuff. This is just some old stuff I thought I'd have for backup, a lot of old uh, classic stuff uh, from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. And uh, even some of it from the early 2000s. Anyway, this was uh, a JVC 6 disc plus 1 changer. You put this in, you pick your song, you go through your list, and you know your customer goes through the list, puts your uh, his request up there, his or her request. Then you look based on numbers written down, and you have to go through the whole process to find what you're looking for. Uh, the plus one is if you just want to pop a disc in or if your customer brings their own disc in. It just slides in uh, the top tray, just a single disc. So it was a nice machine, you know, but it's nothing compared to using a computer to DJ uh, or to, uh, to KJ. So let's get started. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start out with a good old one that many of you KJs have been doing for years should be familiar with DK Karaoke. And uh, I'm going to burn disc number one. I've got one through 99 here and then uh, 1100 or 100 through 1109 or something like that. But I, I pretty much have the whole original collection of DK karaoke here. And uh, we're going to start out with this one here. And we're going to rip it to the hard drive so that we can turn it into a computer file that can be used with any computer karaoke program. Uh, and for the purpose of this video, it's going to be Virtual DJ because it's my personal favorite and I think it works the absolute best. So, this is the disc we're going to rip. Let me get us started. I'm going to shut you down for a second and move it. Okay, so now we have a close-up of the desktop so we can uh, get a good view of what we're going to do next. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to take this disc. This is the DK Karaoke, uh, DKG1. That's the very first one in the series. And uh, we're going to put it in the drive, in the computer's drive. That'd be your your CD or DVD burner drive. Uh, it doesn't have to be a burner drive, it has, uh, but it does need to be a reader that can uh, handle CDGs. Uh, and most most of them that are you know within the last four years uh, that have been manufactured in the last four years are. So you shouldn't have a worry unless you have a really old computer. So we're going to go ahead and drop that disk in. And the computer's going to initialize it. And what's going to happen is a little window is going to come up and the, because the computer wants to know what you're going to do with that disk. And that's drive letter E, that particular drive. So what you want to do with this is nothing. You just want to close it out. Okay. <clears throat> now the, the main thing here is you've got to have a program to be able to rip these uh, these CDGs to your hard drive to turn them into computer files usable on programs like Virtual DJ. So what do you do? Well, you download a program called Power CD Plus G Burner. And there it is. Zoom in a little bit. Now, it offers a download trial, or you can just buy it outright. It's 39 US dollars. And it's very well worth it. Uh, I had thousands of CDGs I mean thousands of songs and I had a couple hundred CDGs that I needed to rip and uh, and I used this and I completely converted my entire collection and you'll be able to do the same thing. So it's powerkaraoke.com, 39 US dollars <clears throat> and it's worth having. 
Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the program. It's got a little icon on the desktop here. Double click on it. Wrong one. There we go. And there it is. There's the Power CD Plus G burner. Okay, now when you first start this program, there's going to be a little window that will only come up one time and you make a choice. And that is the, uh, it's called the Free DB. Uh, and what that is is Free Database. It's a database kind of like Grace Note or CD DB. What that is is a CD database. Also, both of those are uh, compilations of thousands and thousands of albums that have been uh, entered into the database. Uh, and they go back, you know, for 50 or 60 years worth of albums. And, uh, you know, it's really a nice feature because you don't have to type in all the titles. So click Enable. And you can't see it here because I've already obviously initialized it. But click Enable so that it'll put all of your titles, artists, and everything on here. So now this is another thing. So when you first, this is a tip that you need to follow. When you first put the disc in, and if nothing comes up in this window, none of the titles and artists, then you need to make sure the reader device is correct. And what I mean by that is your drive. You've got to make sure the right drive's in here. In this case, it's a Samsung drive that I'm using. And there's another choice down here. But obviously, if something popped up in this window, all these, you know, Madonna, like a virgin foreigner, I want to know. Obviously, the CD is chosen right. The reader device is correct. So, if uh, nothing shows up, click refresh first, and everything should pop up. And if still nothing shows up, check your reader device and choose the other one to make sure. See, now nothing's there, so obviously it was the Samsung drive. So, there you go. And then I just click refresh again. Okay, so the next thing you do is you got to remember that Grace Node, CDDB, and uh, this FreeDB, these are like Wikipedia. They're, they're user uh, controlled. In other words, people put these in. You know, people like you and me put these uh, titles in. So, you know, there's going to be typos and uh, spelling errors and things like that. So you might want to look it over just to make sure. You know, looking at it from Madonna Like a Virgin all the way down to the last one, the Chi Lights, Oh Girl, everything in between looks good. There's no typos. It's all capitalized, and it, it all looks good to me. And I'm very picky about that kind of stuff. So what you do now is you click Select All. Okay, now all of your your titles and artists are, are clicked on, and uh, they're all going to be ripped to the hard drive. Make sure there's a check in every box. I'm <laughs> sorry.